Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Do you ever feel like you aren't progressing quick enough? Because I certainly have. I've experienced two or three months of really good growth, now followed by a couple of weeks of potentially a slowdown. Um, and I think it's quite common actually with business people, property investors, and it's not the first time I've had it. So I figured it might be a good idea to share my tips on how you can get back on that growth trajectory and boost your business once again. Right, quick post office trip done. Uh, just sending off some orders and some eBay sales. I do have to say, quick tip for anyone, eBay, this time of year, December, Christmas, people buying presents, there's got to be stuff lying around your house that you can sell. Obviously, because we've been moving, we're thinking, you know, what can we sell? What crap do we have here? What rubbish is lying around that we don't use but someone else might love? Well, that's what we've done. We've managed to rake in a couple hundred extra pounds in a week or a week and a half or so. So it's amazing what you can get out of stuff just lying around the house. So I fully recommend it if you haven't tried it. And a little tip for anyone that's about to do it, always overestimate on the postage. The postage? The postage. You wouldn't believe the amount of money it costs. Also, you don't get charged commission on the stuff on the postage value when you sell on eBay. So, uh, so that's just a quick tip, but yeah, happy selling. <laughs> Oh, trying to make the most of, uh, oh, that's a bit wonky. Trying to make the most of the day, really, because I don't know about you, but I find I get up in the dark, go to the gym in the dark, I then come back, I work at home, I then finish my day, and I spend my evening in the dark. So I'm sure you can all relate. Um, but yeah, like, I just wanted to quickly touch on goals or reassessing your goals and your strategy because Certainly something that I come across a lot. I mean, I do a lot of one-to-one -one, like calls with new property investors and, and I obviously have a network of other property people. And one thing I come across a lot is that people, you know, they get shiny penny syndrome. They try and do multiple different strategies. Their head goes all over the place. And, you know, even though you've been thinking about what you want to do for the last few months or you've been working towards a goal, these other things crop up and it puts your mind all over the place. And I'm, I'm the same, you know, and you try and take on more, you try and doing too much, you start thinking about all these different ways you can make money. And actually the best thing you can do when that starts to happen and you start feeling a bit lost and you start feeling, actually you'll probably start to feel like you slow down and your progression stops and it gets a bit frustrating. The best thing you can do and, and the thing that I have to then do, and I did this the other week when I felt like I wasn't progressing and, and obviously I felt it again the last few weeks, but I'm really trying to remind myself of why I started this and what my strategy was. So, you know, what is your strategy? Is your strategy to get cash flow and quit your job? If it is that, you know, and you've decided rent to rent, you need to stick to rent to rent until you've built up enough cash flow to leave your job and fulfill that goal. And if it's not, if your if your goal is to actually build up wealth over time whilst maintaining a job and you don't mind holding down that job, like that's more my scenario, then you've got to go back to that. You say, right, I'm gonna buy buy to lets. I enjoy my job. I'm trying to do investing on the side to bring in a passive income or as, as passive as it can be. And that's what you need to go back to rather than thinking about all these other strategies that come up. So, So the, the best thing you can do to start is just reassess your goal and in that you'll, you'll find such clarity as well. So after you've reevaluated everything, you've looked at your goals, what is the next step? Well for me it's how can I reinvest into my business, whether it's business, property, YouTube, whatever it is, how can I drive things forward by taking some of that profit and reinvesting? Now it might be something small like a few months ago I bought the mic for my camera. You know, a small investment, but it really does upgrade the audio and improves uh, the videos that I'm creating. So a few months later, now, just last week, I upgraded by purchasing a drone. Now 
this purchase is because I want to continue being at the top of my YouTube game. And what are the two best ways of doing that? The first thing to do is buy cool projects and share the journey with them, which I'm working on. And two, it's by creating the best quality content out there. And in this niche, I think I'm really trying to do that. And I think I'm trying to stay on top of everyone else by creating cool quality and educational content that you can enjoy and learn at the same time. So for me, the drone is that next step and it'll be really cool to use when I purchase my next couple of projects. So I'm just interrupting this video to announce this week's competition. If you watched my video last week, you'll know that throughout December, I am doing a competition every week where you have the chance to win something. This week, five people, yes, five people, have got the chance to win this ebook by Aaron Knightley, which is how and where to find high net worth investors. This is a brilliant book to read if you want to find investors for your business or for your property. If you're looking to grow a property portfolio, you're going to need to work with investors at some point because you're going to need to raise capital and cash. So this is a great book. I highly recommend you getting involved because you should want to win this. Um, to win, what you've got to do is like, comment and then share this video on your Instagram story. What I want to do is get my videos out there to the masses. So by you sharing it and letting everyone know about this video, which I'd really appreciate, I'm then going to enter you into this competition. As there's going to be five winners, the chances of you winning should be quite high. I hope you want to get involved. Thanks so much for being part of this channel. And I look forward to announcing the winners on Instagram over the next week. Good morning. Today is the next day and I've got a busy day lined up including a nice lunch stroke dinner out uh, with a good friend Stephen who works in the kind of sales commission only role. But yeah, I hope you, you know, enjoying this video so far. I hope you can see that whilst it's not strictly property related, I wanted to come to you with some form of mindset related video. We all go through these kind of ups and downs. So why not try and help each other out? things I'm learning along the way to help myself boost myself forward and grow in terms of business and property, I want to share them with you. So I hope you can see that, you know, I am no uh, expert, I'm no guru, and I'm not rich. I mean, I'm, I'm damn well trying, but I'm far from it. So I'm doing my best to follow that journey, document it for you. So I hope you can see what I'm trying to do. But the last thing that I think it would be worthwhile covering is sales. You know, because whether it's property or whether you do own a business, sales is massively relevant. Because, you know, whatever you like to say, regardless of whether it is a property business or a different kind of business, it always comes down to numbers. It always comes down to how much money a business is making. So inevitably, if you are starting to plateau, you need to look at how can you boost those sales. You know, more sales means more reinvestment. And then more hopefully the reinvestment means more sales but how can you boost you know with a year like what we've just had how can you adapt how can you change direction which the business is going in order to pick up a new revenue stream and grow that business even further grow those prop that property business even further so that's my, my sort of third and final tip really review how you can bring more money in because as i say regardless of whether it's property or a separate kind of business Inevitably, it always comes down to money, always comes down to the numbers, because if you're not making money, there's no point in having that business. So that's my third and final point, which I will cover a bit more in a second. Here he is. All right. Nice, oh, no, nice cat. Hey. <laughs> but for the, the final part of the video, I've got a special guest on. It's Stevie. Stephen. Who is a sales expert. He's gone, changed his life from working full time, nine till five, for a set amount of money each month, and arguably not enjoying it. Yeah, not enjoying it. true, no. Flipped his life upside down through the beauty of, of uh, commission, commission only sales. The, the bit I just wanted to cover is that, you know, if you are in sales or you're, you're looking to up your sales in your business, what can someone do to improve the, their sales going forward? Mm. So what generally I would say, I work in a commission only role, when Restarted. Sorry, restart is a guy, guy's yarn, I got blocked out. <laughs> oh, no, she was going in. So what I do, I'm in commission only sales, so when I hit a, like a mental block if you want, yeah. I can go do a massive week or I can do a really tough week. 
in those tough weeks, what I generally do is I'll hit like a reset. So for me, there's probably three main things. There's um, my my graft, my drive, which all comes down to like you said, my goals. Yeah. There's um, generally like my salesmanship, which is something I can do on an educational basis. Do some more uh, online learning, go look at training courses for some recent books, and actually learn the world of sales. And then generally my natural rapport. So a lot of things for me, it's generally all comes down to what you talk about a lot about yeah. is mindset. So when I go to, for example, the next week into, yeah. um, if it is mainly mindset, if I go to the next week to a appointment, because I go to door to door sales, actually uh, by appointment, what I would do rather than going down to uh, through salesmanship yeah, group, keep going, I yeah. will go in through like, um, put a really good song on the radio, get that really good mindset, a happy mode. So when I go in, I'm just chirpy. And I don't let the downs affect me. Got it. So I go in and then instantly, because when we talk about sales, really as well, you want the prospect to really enjoy that interaction. So basically they will feed of positivity breeds positivity. They will buzz off that, yeah. enjoy that reaction. I'll buzz off that. And naturally um, my cheekiness as a salesman, if you like the classic salesman also come through and then grow towards um, generally just a better relationship with that person, which is more or less gonna make a sale easier. But it's that reset on the on the flip side. In some terms, it might be due to just do a bit more education, a bit more product knowledge. Yeah. Am I? Do I really know enough of the, enough of the product? If they ask me five questions, I don't know about the product. That's to make me look weaker as a salesman. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's just resetting and trying. I would always pick what's been my weakest point for that week, and then and then attack that point, if that makes sense. I get it. Yeah, that no, completely makes sense. Mm. I think regardless of whether someone's in sales or whether they are running a business and they need sales or they want to boost sales in order to grow more mm. just take those those points reset 100 percent, yeah so. also when you're talking about goals specifically i would we mentioned uh, uh, earlier you need like your your why so your real long-term goal what you're yeah. looking to try and achieve yeah um and then medium-term goals so you really want to enjoy something ideally we say once a month or once every other month whether it's just going Day, like a mini breakaway with a partner or eat out meal and then really something you want to enjoy every week so what I used to do with commission only like yourself I'm really hungry I yeah. really want to try and achieve I do be <laughs> so so I'm um, stubborn I'll do seven day weeks 14 day weeks you burn out and what I found so mentally tough is when you come to a Sunday evening yeah and then you realize you haven't had a break the new week starts and you're going again how are you going to do the same all yeah, over again how are you going to get seven days away so my my personal um, uh, sort of deal I've made with myself now is take every Sunday off and make sure I really enjoy that one day a week. So whether it's just something like this, like today we went out for yeah. dinner, had like what a three hour lunch, yeah, or if you go out for like um, go five side football, or just do something that's mentally going to take you away out of work mode and just pure enjoyment like for an, at least once a week. Like an active an active rest, isn't yeah. it? In a way, it's yeah, pretty take much. Take your yeah. mind away from that everyday task that you're doing in sales, but you're equally just staying active, doing something you enjoy. Mm. Um, I like that, yeah. Awesome. Cool. That's uh, sales gold for you from the main man, Stephen, <laughs> from the 100% commission sales only. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back. Good day out. I hope that last tip, particularly with Stephen, was useful. I know I find his information and his knowledge super useful so i hope you do too and i hope this video has been good whilst it takes a step back from the usual kind of in-depth property education stuff and it touches more on mindset let me know in the comments what you think and yeah like comment subscribe if you're enjoying enjoying the content i'll see you in the next video which is coming out very soon but until then see you next time Mama, let's do some cooking. You got that soul and you're so good looking